July and it's 2016, a year we've all been looking forward to, new beginnings and great things happening on our coast. Last year we talked about SA Film Academy coming down our way and we're going to have another little chat with Rob Gray. Yes, thank you Bev. And we are excited in what we believe will be a, a very unique experience for the learner. Rob, that's very interesting. What makes this course so unique? It's unique because we cut to the chase on day one. And because the numbers are restricted, students get up to 80% more hands-on than students in other institutions. Secondly, we follow contemporary processes which are in line with industry standards. This gives the student a much better chance of getting a job after leaving the course. And thirdly, we encourage students to think like entrepreneurs, to get stories and to market and produce their own movies. So Rob, what makes your program unique? The basic outline is divided into self-sustaining modules. Self-sustaining modules, does that mean I can choose which module I want to do? Each module or chapter is a course in its own right. This allows part-time students the opportunity to take one module at a time and build towards the full program. The program starts with an introduction to the filmmaking process. This module covers a brief introduction to the concepts behind digital film and how they apply to the big screen, that is theatre release and television delivery. The next module deals with the assistant camera person. This practical module introduces learners to the duties and professional requirements of the camera system, normally based on the camera that we have on hand. The third module deals with data wrangling basics. The introduction to managing data from file-based cameras like the FS7. The learner will get an overview of the types of data and metadata from a file-based camera and will learn how to prepare for and manage this data confidently and responsibly. Here we deal with camera and sound basics as well as the editing process. The course will be made up of short screenings, discussions, demonstrations and immersive hands-on shooting exercises for the participants. It will cover the practical considerations of low-budget filmmaking suited to smaller crews. This will give the participants the confidence to use the equipment on hand. In the fifth module, we cover lighting fundamentals, basic lighting skills in cinema photography and how they apply to the visualization of a story. This module deals with the assistant director. The role of the assistant director is often misinterpreted. The AD does not automatically supersede the director. However, the AD's task is of vital importance, especially in a large-scale production. In most cases, the small crew, including the director, will contribute to the duties of the first AD, second AD, or the third AD. Module 7 deals with the director. The course delivery includes screenings and discussions of movie clips related to good directing. And actually show them the camera angles you're going to do. And you're actually filming the movie. So many people asking you questions, it's very hard to, to concentrate. If you do it ahead of time, you'll have a much clearer game plan of what you're going to do on the day of shooting. So as you see, I set up my camera kind of wide for the wide shot. And it's going to look just like this in the final picture because I'm the camera operator both on the video and in the final film. See our low budget films made it big by examining their first films. Module 8 deals with modern day cinema photography. Cinema photographers take a written text and use technical and interpretive skills to convert that text into an engaging visual that will help intensify the screenplay's intention. The final module culminates in the making of a short film. Learners shoot a short film working in collaboration with each other. The film will feature at a premiere showing to the public and invited dignitaries.
so you say that even the student will be able to produce movies, but this takes a lot of money. How do we go about this one? That's a good question. The trend for independent filmmakers is to make low-budget films. One cannot compete against the big film studios where millions of dollars are spent on productions using huge crews and lots of lights and equipment. One special effect can cost the entire budget of an independent film. So this is where you and the Academy come into the picture, excuse the pun. Yes, it is possible to make high quality movies with few resources as long as you have a good story and a good understanding of filmmaking techniques and the film language as a whole. This is truly an exciting era for the new filmmaker. So how do I go about registering for your courses? People are free to register now. You can also email me or phone me for further information. Wow, thank you Rob. Exciting times heading down our way on the coast. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you Bev. And for us locals, wow, something to look forward to. Thank you so much. Goodbye.